Hey friends, today is our fourth stop on our epic Disney Resort hopping staycation. We are coming back to the Bay Lake. Last time we stayed here it was theme park view and then this time we're going to do lake view because like I said now you can see the sunrise. The sunrise is on the other side, sunset is on this side. Anywho's, I'm so excited. Let's go do this. I got here well in advance from check-in time so that I can put in a room request for the highest floor over on the right side. That way we get the perfect angle. Already we're all checked in. It looks like the highest floor we can get was the ninth floor. And like I said, it's facing over Bay Lake. So we're gonna see how good we actually made out with our room. There it is, 7938. I just love the way they present the room numbers here. It's such a nifty little thing, isn't it? Now we're in the room. I was able to take my mask off and just relax a little bit. I'm not gonna give you a grand room tour. Uh, if you wanna see the room, it's the same room from when I stayed at Theme Park View. It's just a, you know, deluxe studio. But I'll show you around a little bit and then show you the view in the balcony because those probably mean the most to me. Take a look, see, we have a bathroom with the fancy doors. I like these doors and it's actually a really nice bathroom and then I said it last time I love this how this is kind of like an apartment because this is like a little mini kitchen comes with the microwave and the coffee pot the fridge fully stocked I like it and then right outside the kitchen you got some storage and then the TV and the bed Okay, so this might be a controversial topic right here, but from what I'm looking at, I think I like Lake View better than Theme Park View at Bay Lake Tower. I know that sounds crazy, but you have to understand now, I have not seen fireworks for Theme Park View yet because there's no fireworks at the moment. If I was to come stay here right now, I would probably want to have this view instead of, you know what I mean, the no firework Theme Park View. Mostly because you know I love the contemporary and just take a look at all of this. This is beautiful. All the boats and the contemporaries right there. This is a beautiful view. I absolutely love it. And I think we're lined up perfectly for a sunrise. It's definitely going to happen probably above Discovery Island here. Oh, this is going to be epic. I really do just love the view because you can see the Wilderness Lodge, you can see Expedition Everest, the Swan and Dolphin, Epcot, the Tower of Terror. You can literally see everything. You can see River Country getting demolished right now. You can look down at the beach here at the Contemporary. A lot of people don't even know they have a little beach area. They have one here and then on the other side they have one there. That's my favorite boat dock. I don't know why. And then right over there, like I said, is River Country. Then I see Spaceship Earth and the Swan, the Wilderness Lodge. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to zoom in and show you these cool things. Right there is the Wilderness Lodge. Right next to it, to the left, is the Swan and Dolphin. There's Spaceship Earth and Tower of Terror. This is a really good view, like I said. And right there, that big open patch of land, that was uh, River Country pretty amazing we're gonna go around and explore the contemporary a little bit I have some friends that I'm gonna probably run into but hopefully maybe go up to California Grill right now it's very hard to get dinner reservations so we'll see maybe we can get on the wait list maybe we can go visit the lounge area because you don't need a reservation for that just lots of fun things oh but they're playing I can go the distance I can go the distance. All right, let's roll out. I gotta get back to Epcot. I miss riding Soren. <laughs> when it comes to the views, we just got dark there. Hi. When it comes to the views, Bay Lake and the Contemporary are definitely the best. You can't go wrong. I just love seeing all these views. This is perfect. Look at that lineup shot right here. Oh man. I decided instead of using the walkway to get over to the Contemporary, we would just uh, hoof it and uh, just walk around the grounds a little bit. 
it's a beautiful lake area down here and when I was actually looking down from my room I noticed there was nobody down at the beach area so I grabbed myself a Bud Light and I was like you know what let's go sit down at the beach I like beaches I just don't like sand does that make sense and I almost feel bad because look I am the only person with footsteps on this beach it looks like somebody just raked it I feel like I should leave look at this and how do they get out of here without leaving footsteps this is literally blowing my mind I'm gonna walk back in my footsteps so I can preserve it and make it look pretty but wait a second I went to a little corner just put a little PMM paging Mr. Morrow I was gonna do it in gigantic letters and then look at it from my room like from the balcony but you know I probably shouldn't have done that so a little PMM on the side in the sand I like that very nice keeping it classy I hopped over on the other side to the boat nook. This is where you normally can rent boats and actually go out and explore the Seven Seas Lagoon. And honestly, that is one of the best kept secrets. So it's not even a secret. People just don't understand how amazing it is and how cheap it is. You can rent a gigantic pontoon boat for $45 for every 30 minutes and literally just go about the whole entire seven seas lagoon you can drive your boat right up to the magic kingdom well not right up to it but pretty close and that fits up to 10 guests so you have a far if you have a family of 10 you have 45 dollars it's definitely worth it those are the boats right there they're huge you actually drive it yourself you don't need a license it's real easy i've done it many a times it's literally one of my favorite things and then they have foosball and a pool table Ooh, they actually just redid the felt on that pool table because I remember it was looking a little rough. Now it's kind of shiny. And this is kind of like a sad thing because this is also one of my favorite things. The watercraft transportation is unavailable from the Contemporary Resort at this time. So you used to be able to take the boats like from here to Wilderness Lodge and you used to be able to resort hop with a boat. So kind of like a boat resort hop, but not anymore. Anything that's by boat is only operating to the resort and to Magic Kingdom. One of the things that is definitely on my bucket list that I've actually never done and I wish that I did is doing one of these fishing excursions right here on Bay Lake. That would be pretty fun. I haven't went fishing in such a long time so maybe when that actually opens up we're going to do it. I would love to just go out and enjoy a nice morning fish. Maybe even catch myself. A bluegill let's move along and actually get inside the contemporary it's starting to get a little hot out here and I only brought three extra shirts so I don't want to sweat through all of them one more thing to point out one of my favorite little photo opportunities right here they even give you this little stand so you can set your camera up and get that perfect shot it's a very fancy photo spot, just like I said. I decided to hop in the wave a little bit and just kind of give it some time to see if we can get to the California Grill, either using, you know, the walk-up list or just seeing if we can go up to the lounge, but that's not for a couple minutes. So this will be a nice way to kind of just cool off. You gotta cool off in the wave. Oh yes, it's really cold in here. <laughs> If you guys recall, last time I was at the Wave, uh, I tried the end of summer cocktail. It was basically a grapefruit gin and tonic. Just not my cup of tea. It's not something I enjoy, but I'm sure a lot of people do like it. Now, here at the Wave, they have some frightful fall favorites. I'm excited to look at these. Here is a look at all those frightful fall drinks. Harvest Punch. Captain Morgan Butterscotch. Oh, I like butterscotch. That actually sounds pretty good. And then Wild Apple Mule, Witch's Brew. I really think that all of those drinks are probably better than the end of summer cocktail. <laughs> if you look right there, they have a little display of some of the fall drinks. I like how they have their glowing skull on it. That's pretty awesome. And I'm going to veer off my Bud Light path, even though I already have a Bud Light, just so I can try one of these drinks. And I'm very interested in the Harvest Punch. Here it is, the Harvest Punch. Like I said, Captain Morgan butterscotch and pumpkin syrup. I don't know. I have high expectations for this. You know I have to have high expectations if I decide to order it. And there it is. 
Look at that. That just looks so good. That's little tiny pieces of a cinnamon stick inside of the drink. I'm excited. That is good. Yeah, I appreciate wow. it. Thank you. That's that have good? Very unique. That is good. Look at on the inside of that drink. This is so spooky looking, but so amazingly delicious. Definitely one of my favorite new mixed drinks, and I'm not a big mixed drink person. And take a look at this. I ran into my friends who have an anniversary coming up, and they actually brought out some macaroons with a little Mickey on it. Oh, well, happy anniversary, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That pumpkin drink was absolutely fantastic. And while I was sitting there, like I was gonna plan on doing, I joined the virtual wait list to get into California Grill, and they just texted me like five minutes afterwards and said, hey, table's ready. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? 15th floor, all the way up. Oh wow, there's like nobody up here. I like it. I'm gonna get a nice little seat over here. Wow, what a view, huh? Look at that view, guys. And take a look at the monorail, too. This is unbelievable. I love it up here. So to start off at the California Grill, we're going to get some ho Hu Shu sparkling cream soda. I'm excited to try this. $38, and it's for a whole bottle. And there's the bottle of sake right there. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Cheers. Well, you're drinking already. Cheers! <laughs> a cream soda sake. Oh, wow. It's delicious and dangerous. One of my favorite things to look at when you're actually up at the California Grill is seeing the monorails actually just go about their track. I love it. And, of course, Cinderella's Castle. I mean, you can't beat that. California roll at the California Grill and that looks just like fancy sushi Sushi is never really my favorite thing. I have tried sushi before I've tried the California roll the spicy roll the salmon It's just something I've really never been into. It's just I'm not a sushi guy Look at this They're lower in the blind so the Sun actually steps and it's mechanical. I've never seen anything like that. Wow, I feel so cheesy because I thought that was awesome. <laughs> I decided on the filet with the Brussels sprouts and the onion chutney. And instead of the mac and cheese, I went with the potatoes. I love these though. Those potatoes are so delicious. The thing that I love about this steak is the chutney sauce, like I said. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but the Brussels sprouts is just such a good combination. So we're gonna grab a little Brussels sprout. A little bit of steak, all together, voila! I will say this time and time again, one of the best steaks I've ever had. I love it here. And I, like I said, it's more than just the meat. It's the actual sauce and just the environment. Mix that in with the amazing views. You raise me up so I can go the distance. I am really enjoying the steak and just the experience up here. But before dessert comes out, because we did order some dessert, I wanted to come out and show you the balcony a little bit and all the magnificent views. The back side of the Contemporary, outside on the California Grill, that's our resort right there. That's where we're staying tonight. And then right over here, look at that. Magic Kingdom, look at Cinderella's Castle. Beautiful. And dessert has arrived, look at that. They just look fancy, like you don't even want to eat them. The storm is definitely rolling in, but take a look at that sunset. Do you see that? It looks so creepy. Look at that, right? The sun is just peeking through right now. It looks like there's a fire out there. That is mind-blowing to me. I'm not sure if I discussed the dessert, but I gotta tell you, that white chocolate creme brulee was amazing. 
absolutely amazing. Anywho's, it started raining, so we decided to come out on the balcony. I wanted to give you a look in between because the rain actually just stopped and I'm pretty sure it's gonna start again. Just look at those storm clouds. Wow, right? That is crazy. I'm pretty sure it's definitely gonna rain again very soon. You can actually see it happening in the background there. But take a look at the Magic Kingdom from here. Gorgeous, isn't it? And just like that, we are all done with dinner. I'm sorry if it seems a little sporadic and a little bit out of place, but I was actually enjoying uh, time with some friends from out of town, and they were really awesome to hang out with and just chit chat a little bit. So now we're gonna head back over to Bay Lake, get ready for bed and get all comfy so we can wake up early and watch the sunrise and drink some coffee. That's what I like. Now we are just about back at our room. It was actually raining out pretty hard, so I had to run across the field. Now I am back in the room, and like I said, we're probably gonna go to bed soon so we can wake up and see the sunrise. Let's just check on it and see what it's looking like out there right now. Beautiful, isn't it? This is such an amazing view. I really even like it at night, and then you get to see the contemporary in all of its glory. Hands down, probably one of my favorite, it is my favorite looking resort. I'm gonna say it right now, that is my favorite looking resort. One of these days I'm gonna be able to nail down what my favorite resort is actually overall, but there's so many different things I like about each resort, so it's hard for me to, you know, say which one's my overall favorite. My favorite looking one is the Contemporary. My favorite rooms was probably the Riviera. Uh, my favorite food, oh. That one's a tough one. I'll have to get back to you. Favorite pool is definitely Beach Club. So, like, yeah, there's a whole list. But a quick question. How many of you guys actually leave the resort TV on when you go to bed? Like, I'm sure you turn it down a little bit. I'll, I'll leave it on and then turn it down, and I'll bring the remote over by the bed and probably shut it off in the middle of the night. It's just really awesome to have here. But I think, like I said, it's time to hit the sack good morning time for coffee and a sunrise out of all the coffee pots in the resort rooms this mr coffee is probably my favorite we stayed at riviera and they had uh kind of like a newer one i wasn't a fan this is just simple brews good coffee thanks mr coffee we can take a look at walt disney's plan for the day Magic Kingdom's open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Epcot 11 to 7. Hollywood Studios 10 to 7. And then Animal Kingdom 9 to 5. Working the 9 to 5. I'm really missing the parks at night. You know, like all of them are closing at 7 now or 5 o'clock. But I miss like my 9 o'clock at Epcot's and Magic Kingdom open till 10 or 11 like it used to be. It's gonna be a while before we see that again. And that kind of makes me sad because I love seeing like all of the great iconic things lit up. I love seeing Spaceship Earth all lit up. I love seeing Main Street lit up. I love seeing like Hollywood Studios with the Tower of Terror lights flashing. So it's gonna be a little sad not being able to see the parks at night for quite a while. But if we take a look out on our balcony, we can actually see Spaceship Earth lit up. You see it over there in the far corner? It's only the top half of the sphere, but at least it's there. I'm really impressed with this lake view. Like this is really nice and quiet. And like in the far distance, especially with the Tron construction happening, you can hear a lot of things like going on and everything like that. This one is kind of just peaceful very quiet when you have to lower your voice <laughs> then it's a very relaxed environment look at how eerie the skies look right now and it's not even close to a sunrise we still have another hour but look at it isn't it crazy how you kind of see all the lights reflecting i think that is super awesome oh look at the boat in the water that's really cool following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. And now your host, Walt Disney. 
world we live in would look pretty dull if Mother Nature used a black and white palette and painted only in shades of gray like this. But before we brighten things up with color in this show, it might be appropriate to recall those times when the movies, too, had their gray days, way back in the old silent era. In fact, when the animated cartoon was created, nobody gave color a second thought. Giving life to a static comic strip character was magic enough. And as for sound, well, if a cartoon character had something to say, he said it like this. Disney presents The Wonderful World of Color. How about that, guys? How'd you feel about that audible real quick? I was up there and I was staring down at the, the actual boat dock and I was like, wait a second, I'm missing a huge opportunity here. And I ran down and it was stunning. Unbelievable, it's still stunning. I'm looking at it right now, it is beautiful. Since we're already over here, maybe we'll jump into the contemporary and check the wave to see if they have any virtual queue because they have some sweet potato pancakes I'd like to try. I had the lemon blueberry ones from the Riviera and I would like to see if these kind of compare with those. I kind of found this new obsession of different pancakes at the different resorts because I didn't know that was a thing either. Oh wow, sweet. It looks like they have a five minute wait. You see how it tells you the wait time? That's crazy, that's for the virtual walk up. And I can get a reservation at 1040, which is three hours, or I can just show up and wait five minutes. Which one would you guys do? And just in case you guys don't know how to join the walk up list, you actually see where you would do a dining availability. It has breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. And then by the time, you actually wanna select the now function. And then it'll show you right there, see? Join walk up list. They also have one for Chef Mickey's too. That one's 35 minutes though. I think we're just gonna definitely stick with the wave. It was actually a no minute wait, so lucky me. It's absolutely quiet in here. There's not too many people dining. Only two tables, but it is only eight o'clock, so a little bit early yet. And like I said, I was really interested in the Wave Signature Sweet Potato Pancakes served with pecan honey butter, choice of bacon, sausage, or chicken sausage. Fancy. I'm not very much of a breakfast guy. I don't like to eat early in the morning, but normally when I wake up to like do the sunrises, it's around 4.35 a.m. So like I'm awake and I'm active for like a good three hours. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I can eat. And uh, that's why I've been eating the pancakes and stuff like that. Just recently, it's been a thing for me. I don't know. Before the pancakes come out, I wanna show you, this is what they're kind of known for, this maple pecan butter. They said you can eat it out of the bowl. I'm not a big butter person. Uh, I love apple butter, but like I would never put regular butter on my pancakes. So we don't need any of that. We'll try this and this. Only the sweet stuff. And there they are. So now we have to fix our plate up. We're gonna take some of this butter. Put it here, rub it in a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh wow, there's like whole pecans in there. That is so awesome. And a little bit more over here. Wow, I'm really impressed with this butter. Like there was just chunks and chunks of actual pecans in here. Nice. Okay, now for the good stuff. Perfect. Oh boy, I'm excited to try these. Amazing. Literally amazing. I really like it. It's a little bit more of a salty, savory kind of pancake. The lemon blueberry ones are very sweet. These ones kind of, like I said, a little bit salty and sweet. I really like it, very unique. 
I think next time I actually order these pancakes, which I definitely will, I'm gonna probably skip out on the syrup. Just the, just the pecan butter is all I need. And I highly suggest getting the chicken sausage instead of the regular pork sausage. It's got more of a snap. That was delicious. Now I am definitely a little full. Gonna head back to the room and I'm gonna do something that I haven't done yet. Okay guys, uh, not to get startled or anything, and I don't know if it's still there, but I was actually walking and then something hit me in the head and it was really loud. Ah! There it is, it's on the camera now. Oh! <laughs> That little girlish scream that I just did was because there was a frog. I was walking by the contemporary and a frog jumped out and landed on my head. And it was like a big loud thud. And then uh, I started like recording it. And because I lifted the camera up, it was like on like the same level. It jumped from my hat to the camera. So I don't know if it came out or if it's just a video clip of me like, ah! <laughs> But anyways, I just got off the elevator, heading back to the room and take a look at the Magic Kingdom starting to get ready for the day. Whoop, here comes the monorail. This is so beautiful. I just love stopping and looking at different places. And like I said, it's one thing after another. We're sitting here staring at the monorail going into the contemporary and then we just like turn around and then boom. Look at this. I absolutely just love it. These are the views from just the lobby. Not even the lobby, just the staircases. Unbelievable. Now I'm back in the resort room and uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna do something I, I haven't done yet on a resort's day. And let's go back to bed. I think I'm gonna sleep in until checkout. I think I'm just gonna get caught up on some rest. Sounds actually real fun. I'm sure it's not fun for you guys. I mean, if you want, I can set up a camera and time lapse my sleeping patterns. I would like to see what I do in the middle of the night. I think that's a scary thing. I don't think I'd ever want to see what I do in the middle of the night. Probably toss and turn, move around a lot. But anywho's, that's gonna do it for the video. I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm gonna relax, hang out. This was such a great day, such a great sunrise. I started on the balcony. And uh, like I said, I was like, wait a second, there's so much to look at down there. So I left, I went to the beach in the front of the Bay Lake, and then, ended up, and then I ended up out on the boat dock, and it was amazing. So, I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much to my friends in Delaware. They're the reason I'm staying here. And uh, like I said, I'm just so grateful. Anywho's, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you guys in Delaware. Have a great one. Good night. Bye. Bye.